said, no, no. One of these days you'll listen to the old ball coach. You know? How many years have you been doing this? 30? 35 or something. So. Have you ever had a stretch like this, a three-game stretch where it's all, all three come down and you, you guys have a big shot in yeah, each of them? No, no, not, not when we've had to dig them out from the jaws of defeat like that. But, you know, hey, this, this crew knows how to win. I mean, you got to, you know, they've been in this program, you know, so they're, they don't ever think they're out. And then I, I, we were really good at our in-game stuff there. We trapped when we needed to trap. We fouled when we needed to foul. We, Took the shots we needed to take, and uh, that's what you're most proud of as a coach. And then we switched up our defense there. We were able to finally get some stops. We couldn't stop them there for a while. Does being in that situation, not only in conference, you guys had a few non-conference games that came down to it. Does that help a team prepare for these situations? Yeah, anytime you're in it. I mean, if we practice it, you know, when we can, it's hard to emulate that, you know. I mean, there's a lot of craziness going on there. But, uh, um you know, I, you know, you just want to get shots on your terms or put foul pressure on them and then, and then obviously try to make a play on defense without giving up a hoop. And we had fouls to give, too, and that helped a lot. We're, we're in that situation of fouls to give. And you guys recognize that and did a good job with that, too. Coach, one of BYU's strengths this season has been rebounding. And you guys were able to out-rebound BYU 47-32. Uh, what, what do you think led to that success? Well, we got our... The rear ends kicked on the glass last weekend. Bad. So we spent a good portion of this week on that, addressing that. So evidently that was one thing that we took to heart because it, 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 BYU is an excellent rebounding team. So um, Julian hadn't had the greatest night, but he no, he, he and Nolan hadn't had the greatest night. And I don't know that Hunter had either. And that's what I'm proud of too. Not hanging your, their heads and just stepping up and making shots. I mean, they were the right shots, and they took them at the right time and, and uh, shot them to make them. So, uh, make them Anton. Anton was good. A Anton was making plays, including, I think, when you go back and watch it, that little thing at the end was all Anton. He had his hands going, and he was guarded several different people there. And, and really, I mean, nine seconds is a long time, and, and we did a good job of bottling him up, and, and uh, that was Anton. So, yeah, he was really, really good. Thought he did a nice job on the glass. Thought he did a good job battling their pigs. What about just the front court in general? I mean, Ben came in, had 10. I think they, they combined for Anton, Timmy, and Ben combined for 47 and 26, something like that. Yeah, I mean, I, they were good. We missed a lot of shots, and we, you know, in there that we don't normally miss. And obviously, the BYU's physicality, their intensity, and they were really climbing up into us on the perimeter. It was hard to get our little actions uh, executed on the perimeter because their guards were doing a great job pressuring us out. And I think they were doing the same inside. Uh, uh, Johnson was doing a great job dive bombing uh, Drew every time he s uh, spun. So, uh, um, you know, uh, it was front court probably for most of the game. And then I thought the back court did a really nice job down the stretch making the shoots. What does it say about the mental fortitude of your group that you've been able to pull out three straight close games down the stretch? I mean, it's it's it's, it's kind of ingrained in our program, man. When you're in this program, you expect to win, and hopefully they're learning how to win like all our other groups have. And so I think they, they don't ever count themselves out. And, uh, you know, certainly it's been reinforced after last weekend and now this. So I think that's good moving forward. You know. Obviously, we, we that's, that's as many turnovers as we've had in several weeks here. we got to go back and clean that thing up. We're doing a really good job taking care of the ball. We were, we were a mess tonight. Looks like Portland's getting healthy right, right with, with you guys on the yeah, schedule. It's always like that, right? <laughs> I mean, everybody wants to play against society. So, yeah. But they're a scrappy bunch and kind of chunk up the game and do a lot of things. And uh, we just got to come out and, you know, Come back down from this one and, and get ready to play. I would guess they'll just sit there and let us shoot as many threes as we want like they did last year. We do all kinds of stuff. You're going to miss this environment? I know you, you guys are going to probably play again in the future at some point. Yeah, I, I, this, has been, this has been so great for our program. And it's been, I don't think we make Final Fours without BYU coming in our league. I just don't. I mean, they've challenged us. They've, this, this is as good a game day environment, much like ours is. Just like Kansas is, is and the big time places are, it's been a, it's been a treat to come in here and, and battle and, and 
there's been a lot of games similar to this. And, and uh, yeah, I mean, we're going to miss a big time, but I mean, we do so out of great respect and, and, um, and just tip our caps. I don't, we wouldn't have made those national championship game runs without them, I don't think.